Hello again, everyone. Dr. Hassan is here. So uh, what I like to do, I like to get into like I got to months, but I like from months I like to get to season, and then from day of week I like to get whether this is a like a Monday to Friday or it's a weekend. So these types of function doesn't exist in Excel. Now what should I do? How can I calculate the season from the month, and how can I calculate the category of Monday through Friday and weekend from this data? Uh, before I proceed, I'm going to introduce you the if function. So what's the if function? Let me just to take these two out of here. So the if function is, is a function that tells us, it checks the statement. If that statement is true, it's going to give you the true one. Otherwise, you can put the false. So if this is going to be the statement, and if the statement is true, you can return this. Otherwise, you can return the other one. So let me just to give you like a very simple example of it before we move on to much more complex one. Assuming that I like to have a function and this function like in A2, I'm going to put a number like a random number, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let me still on that, make this general. Okay, I want to check this number with this, this number is odd or even. So odd or even is that what we know that if the remainder of a number with 2 is 1, that number is odd, otherwise that number is even. So the if statement is that I'm going to get the remainder out of that number with 2, and then check that whether that remainder is 1. If that remainder is odd, I'm going to call it odd, otherwise I'm going to call it even. So again, in flowchart, I can have a flowchart like this, get the value of A2, Calculate the mod. Mod is a function in Excel that does the uh, remainder for us. If the mod of A2 and 2 is 1, if yes, I'm going to call it odd. Otherwise, I'm going to call it no. So I'm going to go back to here. So type in equal to if. Okay, MOD. That will calculate the remainder. You can see, if once I, I type in, it gives me some instruction. If, what's your logical thesis? The value if it's true, the value if it's false. So the logical statement that I have is mod of A2. Again, once I put A2, it's going to say that give me the number and the, the, the divisor. So in this case, the divisor is 2, is equal to 1, right? If that's equal to 1, what's my true statement? My true statement is that that number is odd. Okay, I'm going to use that quotation comma otherwise that's the false if the value is not value if the false is there so the value for the false is even and then close the bracket so you go so give me all if i change the number here to an odd to an even number like for 48 is even that will change to even right if i have a series of different numbers here again if i drag this one down um, With some random numbers then I can drag this one down and gonna keep checking whether the number is odd or even right so because it, each cell refers to the other one as I drag it down it will uh, calculate those numbers so go back to our discussion now this question we want to get Monday or Friday from the function of weekday so I already create some like cheat sheet for myself that I know what I'm discussing. I like to get, if this is one and seven, that's gonna be a weekend. If it's two, three, four, five, and six, that's gonna be Monday or Friday. Um, I'm gonna go back to here, to the data. Again, we already calculated the day of week, if you don't remember it from the last video, the function where it was weekday. So we type in weekday and then we click on the time. That gives me the, sorry, we click on the date it give me the weekday of it. In this case, I have weekday of three. So I'm gonna call the next one here, I'm gonna call this, I don't know, day type maybe, day of week type. So in this case, I say equal to, I'm gonna have the if. What's my statement? My statement is that if the J2, right? If the J2, which is the number like three there, if J2 is equal to 1 or equal to 7, if equal to 1 or 7, I'm going to call it weekend. Otherwise, if it's not there, I'm going to call that Monday to Friday. So 
in order to have or we have a function called or in in excel so or if either of these two cases if this one j2 is equal to 1 comma j2 is equal to 7 I'm going to call this a weekend again just do not to get confused you have to have this quotation there right week and because these are the text that's going to be a printout and then otherwise let's call it Monday through Friday so the function I have I'm gonna write it here so if or any of this statement j2 is equal to 1 comma j2 is equal to 7 drag it so you can see it in this case call this uh, sorry call this weekend otherwise call it Monday through Friday again remember here if after this I have to close the parentheses right that's the first one this parenthesis open for or parenthesis close for or this comma weekend and then everything else is for if I need to close the parenthesis for if and that's exactly how I put the syntax there so I press enter there see what it returns it presents Monday through Friday that's a Tuesday already so if I double click on this it will populate for the rest of it just you want to make sure that's working okay you scroll down once you got to the seven it give you the weekend right so next one is going to be a little bit more complex we want to talk about season so watch the next video for 